No matter how technical your level of Windows expertise, there is sure to come a time when you need some help to do something. A piece of hardware may not be doing what you expect, you might need instruction for how to send a fax from your computer, or you may want to find out what something like POP3 means. Windows XP comes with answers to these kinds of questions. Open up the Help window. Click the Start button, and then click on Help and Support. The Help and Support Center window now opens. The home page of this support center is currently displayed. The most common issues are all listed here, so you can click them to find extra instruction. For instance, click on Windows Basics. Here you'll find more links to assistance. Click on Core Windows Tasks. Check out Logging On and Off Windows. At this point, you select the task that you want help with. Click on Turn Off the Computer. And here's how. If you wanted to search for more related topics, you just click the Related Topics button. Keep in mind you can print any of these too by just clicking the Print button. But you have to have a printer properly connected first, of course. In the lower left corner, notice you can also see a Windows glossary, a Windows keyboard shortcuts overview, tools, and go to a Windows News Group. Personally, I like to search help by keyword. To do this, use the search field. Say that you want to change the time seen on the taskbar of your computer. So type change time here, then press enter, or click go. Press enter. Search results are now listed on the left side. There are two suggested topics and another 15 matches found. Click the button for the 15 matches. There you go. Number 7 is about how to change your computer's time and time zone. Click to see how. Now what else is really nice about Windows Help is that not only does it list for you how to get help, but it often gives you a link to the window where you can make the necessary changes to your settings. And it does here too. Number one is to open the date and time window from the control panel. To go there, just follow the red arrow. Click this link.